Guide Excel, A-Level Maths, Statistics and Mechanics, Summer 2018, Question 8. A particle P moves with constant acceleration. At time t equals 0, the particle is at O and is moving with velocity 2i minus 3j meters per second. At time t equals 2 seconds, P is at the point A with position vector 7i minus 10j meters. We want to show that the magnitude of the acceleration of p is 2.5 meters per second squared. A good thing to do with questions like this is to write out all the bits that we already know or want to know. So we're looking for the acceleration. Obviously, we don't know what that is yet. We know that the time taken for this section is 2. We know that the displacement is 7i minus 10j, because the particle has moved from O to this new position vector of 7i minus 10j. And we know that the initial velocity is 2i minus 3j. So we need a formula with a, t, s and u in it. We're going to use s equals ut plus half a t squared. So putting our values into this gives us 7i minus 10j equals 2 times 2i minus 3j plus a half a times 2 squared. Expanding the brackets and multiplying on the right hand side gives us 7i minus 10j equals 4i minus 6j plus 2a. Taking away the 4i minus 6j from the right gives us 3i minus 4j equals 2a. And dividing by 2 gives us an acceleration of 1.5i minus 2j. But we need the magnitude of this for this question. The magnitude is the square root of those squares added together. So 1.5 squared plus 2 squared. So square root of 6.25, which is 2.5 meters per second squared as required. Now at the instant when p leaves the point a, the acceleration of p changes so that p now moves with constant acceleration 4i plus 8.8j meters per second squared. At the instant when p reaches the point b, the direction of motion of p is northeast. We need to find the time it takes for p to travel from a to b. Now the important thing about that direction of motion being northeast is that it tells us that the velocity at that point has the same i component as j component. You think of northeast, it's going the same direction north as it is east. So the velocity is going to have something to do with this. Now we're not given any velocities for this section of the travel, but we do know what the initial velocity was at O. We've got all the information to be able to go with this. So the first thing we're going to do is use our V equals U plus AT formula to work out what the velocity was at A. So our initial velocity right at the beginning of the question was 2i minus 3j. The time taken in that first section was 2. And the acceleration, which we just calculated in the last question, was 1.5i minus 2j. Putting that all together means the velocity at A is 5i minus 7j. We're now going to take this value as our new initial velocity of u. And we're going to do this again to find the new velocity at B. So the velocity at B must equal the velocity at A, which we've just calculated as 5i minus 7j, plus the acceleration in this section, which is 4i plus 8.8j, all times by t, which we're trying to calculate. Rearranging this so that we've got our i components together and our j components together gives us 5 plus 4ti plus 8.8t minus 7j. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we know that at this point B, the direction of motion is northeast, so the i and j components have to be equal to each other. So 5 plus 4t equals 8.8t minus 7. Taking 4t from both sides, adding 7 to both sides gives us 12 equals 4.8t. t equals 2.5 seconds. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.